Hello my dear friends, I am Sujoy and I welcomes you to my second video on simplex method problem. Today I will tell you how to convert a primal type problem into equivalent dual problem that is duality in simplex method. So let's start. Our question is find the dual of the following problem. Our objective function is mean z equals to 2y plus 5z where the objective function is of minimization type. Subjective to the constraints. So let's proceed to the solution. First, convert the problem into standard primal form that is maximization form if not already in that form. So our problem is in minimization type problem. We have to convert it into equivalent maximization type problem. That will be our primal problem. Next. From that, we will obtain our dual problem. So step number one, by changing sign of the mean z objective function, we will get our max z. So max z star equals to minus 2y minus 5z, where z star equals to minus of z. Step two, if there are greater than type constraints, then convert them into less than equals to type constraints by changing the sign on both the sides. So our first constraint is of greater than equals to type. By changing the sign on both sides, we will get minus x minus y less than equals to minus 2. Step 3. If there are equations of equal to sign, then you have to rewrite them as a pair of inequalities of opposite signs. So our third constraint is of equal to type. So we have to split it into two constraints of opposite signs. So it will become x minus y plus 3z less than equals to 4 and x minus y plus 3z is greater than equals to 4. And remember by following our step number 2 if the constant is of greater than equals to type, we have to convert it to equivalent less than equals to type. So it will be minus x plus y minus 3z equals to minus 4. So from this equation, we have got our one pair of inequalities of less than equals to type. And our second constant is of less than equals to type, so no change is required. So our original problem is now converted into standard primal form. That is, the objective function is of maximization type and all the constants are of less than equals to type. Remember, if the objective function is of maximization type, then the constant will be of less than equals to type. If not, we have to convert them. Just remember the rule, if the objective function is max, that is maximum, then the constant will be just opposite, minimum, that is less than type. And if the objective function is the minimization type, then the constant will be opposite, that is maximum or greater than equals to type. This is the simple way to remember the formula. So our first constant is this, written here. Our second constant is unchanged, written here. Our third constant is now converted to a pair of inequalities written here and x, y and z are greater than or equal to 0 that is called non-negative constraints that means the values of x, y and z can be equal to 0 or greater than or equal to 0 they cannot be less than or equal to 0 or negative that is called non-negative constraint so now we can find our required dual dual is just opposite of the primal. So, from max z, we have to convert it to mean z star, just opposite. Next, for our objective function coefficients, we will read our right hand side values in our primal vertically. So, and we will use the variables w in the dual form. So, it will become reading vertically minus 2 w1 plus 6 w2 plus 4 w3 and minus 4 
W4. For our objective function in dual. Next, to get the coefficients for our first constraint in dual, we will read all the coefficients of the first column. So it will be minus 1 w1 plus 2 w2 plus 1 w3 and minus 1 w4. Next to get our coefficient for our second constraint in dual, we will read all the coefficients in the second column. So it will be minus 1 w1 plus 1 w2 minus 1 w3 and plus 1 w4 and to get coefficients for our third constant in dual we will read all the coefficients in the third column in the primal so it will become first value is 0 so it is also 0 here next 6 w2 3 w3 and minus 3 w4 remember if at any position there is no not any value then we will treat the value as 0 and finally to get the right hand side values we will take the coefficients of our objective function in primal so it will become 0 minus 2 and minus 5 so this is our required dual of our problem so friend this was my video on how to convert a primal type problem into equivalent dual problem so if this video has helped you please help me by liking the video and sharing the video and don't forget to subscribe to youtube channel that is www.youtube.com from class suja n70 there you can also find out my other operation research videos there are 23 videos i have already uploaded on operation research including simplex method game theory transportation problem and assignment problems if you subscribe to my youtube channel you will get an email when i upload my next video so thanks for watching see you in my next video and still then stay connected by subscribing